In this video, we explain what a data structure is. Let's start by answering the obvious question. What do we mean by the term data structure? Well, a data structure is nothing more than a way of organizing and storing data in a computer so it can be accessed and modified. If you've been practicing programming, you've probably used data structures already, even if you haven't been aware of the term. If you program in Python, you'll most likely have come across lists. If you've been using Visual Basic, C Sharp, you've probably come across or encountered arrays. These are typically some of the first data structures you come across when learning to program. In simple terms, they allow you to store elements in a numbered list where you can then access them using their number or index. Data structures usually have common operators, allowing you to perform various operations on them in a controlled way, such as accessing, adding, deleting and traversing. Different data structures support different operations. Which operations a particular data structure supports comes down to how you choose to implement it. And we'll look at this in more detail in later videos on this topic. There are a huge variety of data structures you can use when programming. They all have their own uses and therefore serve to support a wide range of functions. Each has its own benefits and drawbacks. Typically, this will depend on the situation and what it is you're trying to achieve. The ones you need to be aware of for the exam are stacks, queues, that's linear, circular and priority, graphs, directed and undirected, trees, normal and binary, hash tables, dictionaries and vectors. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is a data structure? And which data structures do you need to be aware of for the exam?